Hello and welcome to the continued series of Betsy's Soul Food. Very excited to tell you all the information we learned yesterday because we took two cooking classes yesterday. One was on bibimbap and the other one was on banchan. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about a little bit with the bibimbap is just some of the things that they would use and some of the techniques involved. But bibimbap is something that John and I have been ordering for several years in Korean restaurants. It's kind of our, our safe food. We always knew what to expect. It was consistently good and uh, very filling. We, we just always knew we liked it. But we weren't aware of all the different types of ingredients that typically go into making bibimbap and really what was the secret behind the sizzle that was something we always wanted to know we actually bought bibimbap uh, stone bowls uh, a year or so ago but haven't known how to use them until now so the typical ingredients within bibimbap and by the way this is showing a picture of um, what's inside bibimbap but it's uh, made into a roll so this isn't an actual picture of bibimbap but it is usually a center of rice with one meat, typically served, some typically made like a bulgogi, like we made yesterday, and then diff several different vegetables. Some of them are sautéed, like the carrot is. Some of them are um, fermented, potentially. Um, the things such as the spinach, um, we worked very hard to make sure we got all the liquid out of it uh, and had that involved with it as well too. Bean sprouts are usually always into a bibimbap and then it's always dabbed with a little bit of chili paste at the very very end and of course sesame seeds. You'll also see some pictures of a salad we made that has a sumo marmalade um, dressing that is uh, very indigenous to this area but can be used with any sort of a good citrus marmalade. Look what I did! This is my beep and bop. This is John's beep and bop. They both look awesome. <laughs> so does he. That is my salad. Yeah. Right. Yum. Okay, mm -hmm. just I have microphones all set to, to catch the sizzle. <laughs> Yay! Yay. And we have this wonderful meal. So excited to eat it. <laughs> Yum! Love this school. We're at the National Palace now, meeting Mia here to get a tour of this extremely beautiful place. Take a look around. So beautiful here. Thank you for bringing me here. Yeah, of course. The mountains and the palace. It's a really pretty place. Korea is awesome. Totally. That's it. That's all. That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> The class today is an intermediate class, so hopefully, you'll, but I'll be right next to you, okay. so we'll be okay. There's seven people in the class today. Am I okay, good? Yeah, no, I, I, come on out. All right, we're getting ready to start our intermediate banchan class. Just Mia is joining us for this class. I'm excited to be here. We're going to make soybean sprout soup. Uh, mejok, which is like a pork shoulder. Uh, zucchini namul, which is like chili zucchini. <laughs> I don't know, I eat it a lot here. Small and dried anchovies. Yum. Mm. I like anchovies actually. And bracken fern salad. So it'll be great. Oh, and pan fried tofu with soy chili sauce. That would be good Yum. too. All right, so today's class was on banchan, and banchan are just small side dishes that you have at any Korean meal. It's interesting because with traditional Korean food, you get all of the dishes at the same time. And there's a huge purpose to that because they want you to be able to take the flavor that you need at the moment. Maybe you need some salty, maybe you need some sour. It's meant to be able to get, deliver to you all the different flavors that you want at that moment, which is why it's all served together. So Mia, what are the five flavors? They are sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami, which is yeah, umami is uh, interesting. A heartier kind of word for delicious in Japanese culture. It's the story behind it is that uh, a chef went. They had the four flavors before the sweet salty sour and bitter before and a chef went to Japan and had a kelp soup 
that was um, had a very different, unique flavor. So they came back and they they said, well, what is this grape flavor? So they called it umame, umame, which means delicious in Japanese. But that is the fifth flavor. It's used to describe broth a lot, and that's what's in their their bean uh, their uh, bean sprout soup. The bean sprout soup is traditionally used to cure hangovers, which I think they have a lot of here. <laughs> <laughs> so Mia, we made four different kinds of banchan, plus we made the pork. Um, but what was your favorite banchan? Um, I think the tofu. The the the, the tofu crispy was so tofu good. was so good. And let me tell you, was... I'm a meat eater, and I'm a Weston A. Price follower, so I don't eat soy. But this was amazing it was so like applicable and easy and i could like just take it home and multiply it and make just like a big dinner out of it it was great and that was like really awesome to me so i'll be making a series of these recipes over time in the blog but uh yeah so, uh, the crispy tofu was great but the biggest shocker for both mia yeah. and i by far <laughs> was the anchovies we went into it kind of being like oh <laughs> it's not gonna be the best banchan but we're gonna make it so good. Like, it was like little anchovy, like sweet <laughs> chips. They were almost like candied. And it, they were so well, good. they kind of were candied. Yeah, they were like candied anchovies, but they were amazing. Well, and part of it is, I don't think I've had any, barely, I haven't had a lot of sugar since being here, or alcohol, because my, I just haven't wanted it. And I, so maybe it was just like, ooh, sugar, yum, but... It, it's it had a great it, complex it was a, flavor to right. it. Right, it was a comp. It was a combination of these cri cri crispy little anchovies and pumpkin seeds mixed with a rice syrup, and it was super crunchy but cream. Oh my gosh! I think I, the rice wine is also what made it. Oh, there's rice wine in it too. Yeah. yeah, I woke up at three or about four in the morning this morning, and all I could think of was that. And Mia and William are sleeping like right in front of the refrigerator, and I like literally practically stepped on their head. <laughs> You did. You did step on my head. You stepped on my hair. But I had to get to those anchovies. But I did leave you some because I um, love you. I want Will to try them. Okay, good. He will. So in this picture, you can see on the top right is where the anchovies are. Then the, then the crispy tofu. The zucchini was incredible. Yeah, and, zucchini was really good. And she really talked about using certain combinations of flavors like that really help to make it healthier it as well. It was zucchini and krill. Krill. That was like a little shrimp. It was like a little. Oh, oh, krill. oh shrimp. They were like, yeah, they were like mini shrimp. Yeah, they, she said zucchini and mini. The fermented shrimp go really well together. The left is a, a type. It's a fern. It's a fiddlestick. So thanks for joining us today. We got one more class tomorrow, and we'll be back with you then. Have a good day.